Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is video two of my series of me going through my journey of getting medical cannabis. I'll link the first video up above somewhere, but last video I basically talked about what the beginning steps are to getting medical marijuana in North Dakota at least, and where I was headed in my next steps. So that was filling out the application and getting my prescription written from a doctor. So that's exactly what I did. I filled out the questions. I'll put a link in the description below of the website that you go to to fill out the application. But basically what you do is you just fill out an application, you answer some questions about, you know, general information. I think you have to answer some questions about your health and why you need it, or maybe the doctor does that, I can't remember. But you basically just put like information about you and then contact information about the doctor who's gonna write the prescription and then it gets sent to that doctor and then they fill out the application. So I did that. I'm not gonna like explain that in detail because obviously you guys can go through that by yourselves, but I went and talked to my doctor. I got her to fill out that part for me and then you have to send in a $50 application fee, which I knew, but I didn't know where to send that. And so I was waiting a long time for someone to contact me about paying for that. And then I was like, this is weird. It's been a long time. Like it was like three months. So maybe I should have noticed something, but I went and checked on the website and at the bottom, like the very bottom, it was like, pay here. And I was like, I never noticed that. So as soon as I paid, um, it was like six days later, I got my medical marijuana card in the mail. So um, today I'm going to kind of just explain like what my experience was in going to get medical marijuana. So basically I walked into the dispensary and there's like, it looked like a bank. Like there was like people behind glass and I had to give them my card. I filled out some information and then they were like do you know what you're looking for what strains you're looking for or do you need a consultation and i was like yes please give me a consultation i have no idea what i'm doing so we went in um i talked with an experienced cannabis user i guess she was kind of like a cannabis pharmacist a little bit i don't know she was awesome so she kind of helped me figure out what, the, which strain was going to be the best for what effects I wanted. And obviously I was there for pain relief and anxiety. So we basically got a low paranoia strain that also has a lot of pain relieving concepts. So um, I can kind of show you guys like what I have. So they come in these little boxes and they say, you know, like what the strain is and like what percentage of THC you have in them and what have you. So um, I got a pen. So the cannabis liquid is right here. And then basically you just press this button and you inhale. And I'm not going to smoke weed on camera for you guys, but that's basically how this works. Um, and you kind of just have to figure out like your dosing and how much you need for yourself to figure out which effects you need because I don't really like being high and so I try to find that perfect middle spot of pain relief but I'm not high because I get really paranoid when I'm high and I my anxiety gets worse so that's not what I'm using this for. So that is the cartridge and then I also got a tincture and this just goes right underneath your tongue and this is actually almost all CBD. I think it's like a three to one ratio of CBD to THC. And so you can't, I mean, you can go and buy CBD from a lot of places now, like not dispensaries. You can just go and get CBD, but this still has more THC in it. That's legally allowed non-medical use. So you have to, this specific kind I have to get from the dispensary. Um, but yeah, you just basically take it and you put like 10 to 15 drops underneath your tongue. And then I think it takes 90 minutes. It said, yeah, it also tells you like what the activation time is on these, so which is really nice. Um, this actually expired, but I mean, it's it's fine. So um, yeah, that's basically how to use it. So um, to give you guys a little bit of an update, and I'll do another video in a while seeing, you know, with more continuous use how it's been helping me, but to give you guys an update, um, I definitely have seen a difference in when I do find the right dosage, um, it actually makes a huge difference for me and I've been able to do a lot more stuff. 
because of using medical cannabis. I mean, it's incredible to me the pain relief that I get without, you know, still being foggy. Like I can still function and not be high. And so honestly, it's been incredible and I'm super happy with how it's been going so far. Um, I don't use it a whole lot just because I don't use it before I go to work. I don't want to accidentally misdose and then end up being high at work. That would be not good and I'm not that type of person. So um, I don't use it during the day, but I do use it when I get home. And I've noticed, you know, like after a long day, it really, really helps. And I've been able to go on walks with my dog again. And yeah, so stuff like that. It's been great and I'm super excited. Um, I do think I need to use it more just to get a better idea of how it helps me in the long term because I... I kind of use it really infrequently, but I want to start using it more and just be able to give you guys a better idea of how it's been helping me for my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on my channel, it's a rare genetic disorder that affects my connective tissue. So it causes chronic pain and dislocations and subluxations of my joints, and it's just not a fun thing to have. So that's pretty much what I have medical cannabis for and also just anxiety. So. But sometimes weed can give me anxiety, so I don't, yeah, it's kind of weird. But specific strains are better for that. There are different strains that have different purposes, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have for you guys, but I guess just subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you can get notified when I have more videos come up, and I will try to get you guys an update soon, so I'll see you next time. Bye!